I'm Dr. Wilmer Leon, host of uh, Inside the Issues with Wilmer Leon on Sirius XM Channel 126, The Urban View. Today, I had the pleasure and honor of speaking with documentarian Ralph L. Crowder III, uh, talking about his video, uh, his documentary film, Hands Up, Don't Shoot Our Youth. Incredible, incredible uh, video, incredible conversation, brilliant articulation, and that's why I say if you can think clearly, if you can write clearly, you can articulate clearly, and you can produce products such as this incredible documentary, which will bring about change in the community. All right, here we go. So this is the, oh, so we're at uh, 15, 15, 17, 17 29, 29, and 32. 32. Yep. Same way. My name is Daryl Green, Jr., producer for Inside the Issues with Woman Leon, and you're watching Freedom Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to... Uh, okay. Start the show with my brother. An original called Fried Bananas. Huh. Fried Bananas. <laughs> And welcome, America. Good morning to all contiguous 48 states and Sirius XM satellite radio land and to all those listening around the world. I am Dr. Wilmer Leon, and for the next three hours, you're going inside the issues here on the Urban View Sirius XM 126. That's right, this is Rhetoric Free Radio, and I'm on Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. New York Mets time and 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Los Angeles Dodgers time each week. I, along with my guests and members of my listening audience, discuss social, cultural, national, and international issues that impact the global village in which we live. This is live call-in talk radio, so your participation is greatly appreciated and encouraged. But let me say, this, this segment is pre-recorded, so just sit back and listen. Keep your hands off the phone. If a picture is worth a thousand words, then what is the power of film, especially documentary film? For the answer to that question, we turn to my first guest. He's a filmmaker, public speaker, media activist, and cultural pundit. His creative film credits include Runaway Dreams and Cardboard Condos, which is a film about black men of homelessness in downtown Los Angeles, uh, Skid Row. No Child Left Behind, Black Children in a State of Emergency, a focus on an African American parent advocating for issues of equity and accountability in public education. Memphis, a city rich in song and experience, a profile of the city of Memphis, the people, places, and things that make the spirit of a city rooted in music and its historical significance in the post-civil rights era. He joins us today to discuss his latest effort, Hands Up, Don't Shoot Our Youth Movement, a documentary ahead of the curve with the murder of, uh, in Ferguson uh, of uh, Mike Brown and the uprising of black youth at the center of the story. Let me say greetings to Ralph L. Crowder III. Greetings, welcome, and thanks for going inside the issues. Oh, peace and good vibrations to you, brother. I see you started out the show bopping real nice with my brother on that um, on that jazz piece. So um, definitely, I'm, I'm I'm happy to be here and um, happy to um, you know talk about these issues, brother, that we need to talk about on a consistent basis. Well, bop and hard bop is what we do. Right. Uh, Dexter Gordon is how we always That's start. Right. The brother with the voice. <laughs> Got to recognize him. Uh, let's start first with what's what's the purpose of this film? This film was, number one, to just acknowledge our humanity, first of all, as a people. Um, you know, many times on um, these very fit, fast, quick-paced news cycles that happen um, on networks that we have no ownership in, um, that we only have sound bites in terms of 
uh, providing some kind of guest analysis or commentary. Um, it's, it's very important that in the tradition of our history as a people, you know, that we um, establish our own narratives, you know, um, that are provided by our own media. Mm -hmm. And um, part of uh, the ongoing technology in media and in that tradition of um, telling our own stories, you know, documentary film does that quite well for um, these continued experiences that we're having in America and, you know, across the world for that matter. So um, this film was actually done um, out of self-determination, brother, just to, to honor um, uh, the uh, struggle of, of the young folks in Ferguson before we knew about a hashtag um, to um, dignify uh, the death, um, the unfortunate death of uh, yet another young black male. Um, not only, you know, in this situation by the police, mm -hmm. which seems to be a very popular thing in terms of the media, the corporate media is like kind of um, latching on to that. But, um, you know, our black men are... Um, under uh, distress on a daily daily basis, not only by the police, but we can start out from public schools on up. Mm -hmm. So this is this is um, Fergus. This particular documentary, "Hands Up, Don't Shoot Our Youth" movement, um, actually um, is a story of Ferguson and the people in Ferguson. But really, um, ironically enough, um, it's the story of any um, black enclave in America, and it, and, it, and it's really interesting because we are that close in connection with um, the issues that we share as a people. Mm -hmm. And they're not limited to Ferguson, as we uh, found out, uh, you know, in a short time afterwards. How did you first get into and get interested in film and particularly documentaries? Um, you know, I... I, w I would say that, man, I, I've, I've um, been fortunate enough to be um, a benefit of, of, of good parenting. <laughs> and That's always a good start. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, um, you know, uh, you know, my, my parents um, were a product of, uh, of that powerful movement of the, the late 60s mm -hmm. into the early 70s. And um, I would like to say that, uh, you know, of that movement and... Uh, um, you know, the, the need to document one's journey was something that um, was a part of that. Okay. And so at an early age, I, I had a clear understanding of uh, the necessity to do that, number one. But I think in terms of the, you know, formal sense of, 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 of using this as a platform mm -hmm. was um, experiencing some very difficult issues as a parent navigating the public school system. Okay. And feeling that... Um, I didn't have a voice. I always tell my students at Howard, find your voice. It's important to find your voice. Dr. Wilmer Leon, and you're watching Freedom Radio. Dr. Wilmer Leon here going inside the issues here on Sirius XM 126, the Urban View 15, coming up on 15 past the hour. Ralph L. Crowder III is my guest. Hands up, don't shoot our youth movement is the film, and that's also the precursor to the Hands Up inter intergenerational discussion tour and movement coming to a city near you. And we'll tell you how you can get information on this when we come out of this break. What we're going to do right now Listen to a little Miles off of Miles Ahead. This is Springville. Okay. Do yourselves a favor. Keep it locked right here. Sirius XM 126, Urban View. All right. 